Ladies and gentlemen, let's get game into the comment video. Google has a prediction. Eric Schmidt from Google predicts that the internet that you know, that you love, that you're so familiar with will simply just disappear. This isn't because of privacy, this isn't because of censorship, but it's simply because there are going to be so many devices, so many sensors, that you won't even sense it, it will be just all around you, he said. Now, this... Um, I'll comment, these are comments from World Economic Forum, uh, where he said, which was held at Davos, and he said it's going to be part of your presence all the time. Imagine you walk into a room, you're interacting with all of the things that are going on in that room. A highly personalized, highly interactive, and very interesting world emerges. And he's not the only one with this view. Technology is here to stay. As I mentioned, these comments were over at the World Economic Forum. And not just Google were there. There were representatives from Microsoft. There were representatives from Nokia. There were representatives from Facebook. And indeed, Facebook said, everyone is worried about jobs. This is from the chief operating officer over at Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg. And she said that, you know, the, the transformation is happening faster than ever before. But tech creates jobs. And not just in the tech space, but also outside. And according to Schmidt, once again from Google, he said that... Technology has created jobs in almost every area. In fact, he said, and I quote, if there was a single digital market in Europe, 400 million new and important jobs would be created in Europe. Um, and he said that, you know, the tech, the debate of whether technology is destroying jobs has been around for hundreds of years. Think about it, though. It's actually true. I'm sure that the people in the 1700s and 1800s, if, if you told them about, I don't know, something like a tractor, or you told them about, you know, goodness knows what else, they would be like, that That sounds like it could pit people out of work, and it's really, it's quite accurate. Now, here's some crazy statistics for you, and these, these statistics are absolutely crazy madness. Every one minute, and this is current levels of internet traffic, these aren't distant future this is current level so in two years time it's going to be more as pe more people become internet savvy and more people grow to the internet there's 240 million emails there's 4 million google searches 2.5 million facebook shares 48,000 application downloads 72 hours of new video is uploaded to the internet and so on and so forth and that's from just a single a single minute of internet just a single minute of internet time that's how much people are really starting to communicate it's it's just crazy i'm, I'm going to go back in time a little bit to my youth when i was younger and i remember i was around a friend's house um kind of in the, I don't remember the exact date, but it was around the mid-90s, and I was around his house, and we were quite young at the time, I, he said, we were playing a game, I, I believe it was Commander Conquer, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it was Commander Conquer, and we decided, you know, we'd gotten a certain way through the game, and then we decided just to kind of mess about and have some fun, so he said, well, let's go on the internet and find out, you know, have a look. And I don't honestly know what I expected, because it's the first time I ever saw the internet running live in person. I don't know if I expected m mages to fly out on magic carpets and to blast fireballs and, you know, a, a, a stampede of elephants to walk by at the same time or something. But when I saw this fairly, to be totally honest with you, simple looking web page as he searched around using the pre-google search engines and eventually found this cheat i i don't know what i expected but it wasn't quite that but after a while it, it was quite obvious that the internet was a major thing and i got it as well at my home at 56k which was nowhere near as good as his isdn connection anyway i got 56k and, you know, you, de you dealt with the screaming of the modem and a random drops of connection, particularly if someone happened to telephone you at the same time. And after a, a couple of years, I don't remember how long, maybe a year, two years, eventually there was good deals and we got uh, cable coming into the area, so we upgraded to cable connection, 512 KB. And since then, connection speeds are just mad. In the UK, um, I don't know exactly how accurate this is, but... Apparently, 
uh, Ofcom in the United Kingdom reports that the average 4G connection speed is 15 megabytes per second. We know that 5G is coming in the next couple of years as well. And obviously, different regions and you know your location, your proximity, and so on and so forth is going to make a difference on 4G connection speeds. But just think of that. The average 4G connection speed is like 15, 20, 30 times faster than what we used to have on what was considered the fastest cable connections. Um, and technology as a whole is evolving at rapid speeds. We're all discussing compute. We're all discussing you know, the amount of T-flops in the PS4 or Xbox One or whatever's GPU. But if you just ignore that, and you just look at the device in your hand, you know, let's say you're watching this video on a Samsung Galaxy, or you're watching it on an iPhone, or whatever the hell your device is, it's staggering how much power that it's got. I remember we reviewed, just quite recently, we reviewed a Hubble, uh, sorry, a Huddle tablet, a Huddle 2 tablet from Tesco. So they sent it over for review, and I, it was, it's not a bad tablet, it's like 10 inch screen, I did a full review of it, and it's using an Intel Atom CPU, and we ran a variety of different tests on it, you know, like all the regular 3D mark, and it just, it hit me while that test was running, how much computing power that sucker actually had. It was running tests that looked better than um, when I was running like a 9800 Pro back in the day on my... Um, Barton CPU and obviously it's a bit different you know some of the technology is a little different now obviously you didn't have like DX12 type of you know coming out back then but you kind of get the idea the internet that you know that you love right now is transitory it's we're accessing, accessing devices in a completely different ways like when apps came out on phones it it was just weird Back in the day when you had a brick phone that was just capable of texts, it was capable of, of course making phone calls, and it was capable of maybe playing the odd game of Snake, and that was pretty much it. Now, modern day phones do everything from of course check your Facebook feeds, to recording video, to recording audio, to anything and just about everything else in between. And that's really the way we're going to be moving forward. Um, as technology miniaturizes, as of course we can basically pack more performance, more grunt into a smaller area, and that's well, really what die shrinking is all about, and it's happening quite quickly. Uh, at the moment, of course, most processors are on 28 nm. You've got some which are moving to 20 nm, and of course, some are even shrinking smaller than that. Hopefully, in the next couple of years, we're going to be maybe. Pretty much all of the items manufacturers are probably going to be 20 nm, and really we're probably going to be moving more to like 16 nm, possibly even 14, depending obviously on if there's any issues on in the way, and that naturally is going to require even less power, which means that they can stuff even more components in, and that's going to be the way forward. So, I I think that homes that our personal being, in other words actually what we're carrying around with us is going to reflect this and quite quickly too might I add and I personally feel that that's a really good thing it's not necessarily all good um, there are some issues primarily aimed at privacy and Facebook let's be honest is probably one of the worst in privacy but I think it's quite weird because everyone's so concerned about privacy yet they're so willing to do check-ins on Facebook or whatever application and say I am at X, or I am at my favorite restaurant. And so many people also geotag their photos, and so privacy is a bit of a concern, and obviously the more privacy um, conscious individuals are gonna have to make the necessary steps to uh, rectify that. And not to mention, of course, that as more of our personal information does come online, we are naturally gonna have to take more steps to make sure that that information is safe. And buy more information. Of course, the natural extension was online shopping. And it felt, once again, I, I know I use the word a lot this video, but just strange and just bizarre when I first started to order off websites such as Amazon and Play.com. These, these are UK 
websites that I used and you know you, you, you put your credit card details in and then the item just gets just popped to the drop to the door and it's just now everyone is doing online banking and of course that's great for the more technical individuals but still some credit card details are being stolen and that's also another thing that of course naturally has to be rectified but overall I believe that technology is moving forward in a positive way it just has to be I would say carefully monitored and we as individuals have to be very responsible for it but I for one am really happy with the way that technology is moving forward I it's I, I do sometimes miss just more rose tinted glasses more than anything like the look of the old like 90s websites and just the old way of doing things just to kind of it reminds me if you think about the, those old times it reminds me just how far we've come but I really would not want to go back from a, to an old Google uh, sorry without the old without Google because it's pretty bad and similarly I think that technology is going to move forward and we're going to get used to these really awesome new inventions and I think it's going to be a pretty excellent time for humankind. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, my friends. Bye for now.